Hey y'all. So let me first say, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel for the first time. If it's your first time here, let me secondly say, I'm a little bit sick. So that's why I sound like this. I don't always sound like a fat bitch. I'm just a little bit sick. So I sound congested, okay? Okay. So, I am doing my first, oh, my name is Nyasia, Rari, all of that. Welcome to my channel if it's your first time here. Hopefully you like this video. If you don't, look at my other videos because you might like one of them. And if you like one of them, like it, comment, and subscribe, okay? And my lashes is about to get done this week. My lash tech had to go get some stuff done. She got a new body. Hey, hey. So, yeah. Anyway, welcome to my channel. Today is my first story time video. So, in this video, I'm going to tell a story. Okay? And the story I'm going to tell is how I met my man. Okay? I'm so sorry. What happened was our temperature dropped. Like, up here. I live in Ohio. And we, our thermostat was on like 50 something somehow. It was something in the settings set wrong. And yeah. Woke up and my whole house was cold. And me and my kids were sick. My man not sick, but me and the kids both was like congested. I'm really sorry my lashes is woozy. But whatever. And I'm taking my hair out today because to me it seems like my hair might be breaking off a little bit. But it's not because of my braid hair. It'll be because of postpartum if it is. So, I'm going to just take them out to be safe. Even though they're still crispy. So, yeah. Today, I'm going to talk about how I shot my shot. And I got my man. And we're still together five years later. It'll be five years. Like, in almost two weeks. A little bit under two weeks. Like, 11 days. It'll be five years since I met him. Ain't that crazy? So, let's get into it. So, how did I, how did I meet my man? So, as y'all know, or if y'all don't know, I went to Central State University, right? He didn't go to Central State. He went to Wright State, but he, when we met, he wasn't at Wright State. He was down there with one of his home. He was at Central State with one of his homeboys, right? So, me and my homegirl, we chilling in the back of these dorms. It's these dorms called Hunter Hall. We chilling in the back of them, smoking our weed. Doing what college kids do, smoking our blood. We about to hit the freeway to go like in town. We like we about to go in town, so we was gonna go in town. I was driving my little truck, and his homeboy. I knew his homeboy, so his homeboy was like in front of us as we was leaving out of the uh, dorm room, right? So I'm, I'm right behind them, and they swip, They was just swapping seats, so. My boyfriend, Charles, he was getting out of the passenger seat to get in the driver's seat and vice versa. So, I'm looking. I'm like, damn, who is that? Just just being me, like, damn, that nigga look good. Just talking shit, right? So, I'm like, bitch, I'm about to blow down on him. I was like, he was fine. I'm about to blow down on him. Just talking shit. I didn't really have no expectation to be together, you know, years later with kids. But I just was like, damn, that nigga look good. He had, like, long ass dreads, bitch. He had the J's on. He had, he just, it was a whole vibe. I'm like, yeah, that's it. So I hit his homeboy up, like, hey, tell your homeboy that Rory said, what's up? He like, who? I'm like, the nigga that I just seen uh, get out your car, you know, blah, blah, blah. So we drive it. So no, before that, we keep driving or whatever. I see him or whatever. I blew my horn and they just kind of looked like, what the fuck is she doing? But I was like, okay, I'm, be I'm being childish laughing and shit. So then we both happened to be going on the same freeway, but they were going to the opposite. Like we were going two different ways. But we had to take this little back road to get to the freeway. So as they driving, we behind them. I'm blowing my horn and shit. Being childish. Blowing my horn. They looking, he looking like, what the fuck? But he still go get on the freeway. Boom. I hit his homeboy up on Snapchat like, hey, tell your nigga, tell your homeboy, I said, he like, who gonna like the nigga, like that. Then I sent my phone number, right? So I sent my phone number. I just actually went back to the screenshot. I'm gonna pull the screenshot, I'm gonna put it in the video after I said this. So I'm gonna put it in the video right here. Okay, yeah. So I hit him up, gave him my phone number, told him to give it to his homeboy. 
that was early in the day because it was like in between classes we was bad smoking between classes then it's like nine o'clock at night eight o'clock at night or something i know it's dark outside i get a text message like what up this chug i'm like who is chug and he like um you gave me your number or something i'm like no i think you got the wrong number type thing because i'm like who is this because it's hours later i forgot that i even seen him you know how you just do shit and keep going on about your day that's literally how it was like i wasn't impressed or nothing i just did it just being me and just kept kept it pushing you know and he like, uh, you know, da 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 da. So I'm like, oh shit, what's up? So he a quiet ass dude. Anybody that know my boyfriend or my fiance, cause he about to be my fiance. He is a quiet dude, right? So okay, we text him, boo boo boo. He tell me that he's still in Xenia, which is where my school is at. So I'm like, well, link, cool, let's link up. So we link up, and when I get there, you know, he's in my area. So he's by my school. So when I walk in, I'm comfortable because I know his homeboy, and I know everybody that's in there. So when I come in, I'm just like, what up? You know, that's just who I am. I'm one of them. So he just sitting there on some quiet shit. So the whole time, I'm just like, what is this nigga? I don't know. Why didn't you tell me to come here? But he, we rolling up and shit. But one of my homeboys was just talking and talking. And Charles the type that's like, shit. If that nigga that pressed, he can, whatever, I ain't about to be pressed, you know? So, like, the whole time I was there, we had a little conversation. Like, he had, gave me some weed to roll up. Like, little shit, he cracked a little joke. Like, you cool? Like, if I cough, he like, can you handle it? You know, little jokes like that, but he wasn't really, like, fucking with me. So, I'm like, well, shit, I'm about to go. So, I leave. As soon as I leave, he texts me talking about, damn, you just gonna leave me here. So, now I'm a little bit blue, because I'm like, what? Why wouldn't you hit, what? We was just around each other. Why didn't you say nothing to me? Whatever. So, but I wasn't all the way blue. I just was like, mm, I gotta see what this nigga on for real. So I just was like, well, I'm about to go to bed. We can link tomorrow type thing. So we didn't link back up that night because I left at like one. I stayed there for a few hours, like probably an hour or two. And then I went home and then I went to sleep. So when I woke up, he texted me good morning. <laughs> I always tell him the good morning text is what got me because that night before I was a little bit blue. So he texted me like, good morning. And I was like, good morning. And we was like, good morning. No, but he was like, good morning. I was like, good morning. And then boom, we just started texting, texting, texting. Then that next day, he came back down. But this time he actually came to my house and we like smoked and just chilled. And just, we was just vibing. And we did that shit for like a month, kid you not. Like, just smoke, linking up just to smoke and talk and vibe all night. Then we start going to the club. Like, I would go with my homegirls to the club. He would go with his homeboy. We would meet up at the club. And it would just be a vibe. Then we will separate. Then, like, we actually start getting a little bit closer. Probably, like, that was, like, November. Towards, like, the end of January. Like, New Year. New Year's. Like, in January, we start getting a little bit closer. That's when I started, like, going to his house. And then I gave that ass up after probably like the third month or something. I was like, fuck this. I'm about to get daddy. And I did. And then, yeah, that's just what it was. And then we was together. And now we together. And now we just love each other so much. Like, that's just really just what it was. I don't. It was nice and smooth. It was rough at the beginning because these bitches ain't know he was fucking with a bitch like me. And he didn't know he was fucking with a bitch like me. But then once both of them got, got it together, like once he realized and these bitches realized, we've been good ever since. And vice versa, once these niggas realized that like I was really fucking with my nigga and that my nigga ain't going and I ain't going about my nigga. That's when shit got rolling. Like, yeah. So we just been together. Let me tell y'all about this, actually, while I'm putting it on. Because this, let me tell y'all. <laughs> it's amazing. This is from one of my amazing boss sisters. Turn body butter. Whipped body butter by the Lush Bar. Let me get it zoomed. Hold on. Try to make it focus for y'all. This is her body butter. It's amazing. It is beautiful. Look, let me see. Do don't play with my sis. Anything, anybody I fuck with, we bring in quality. And this is quality. And I'm about to show y'all. 
And no, she didn't pay me to do this or nothing. I really was just putting it on because my hands was getting ashy. Let me put some more. I really was just putting it on because my hands was getting ashy. But why not share it with the world so y'all can see? I should have showed it before. It's so light. I wish I could really like show y'all. I don't think I'm really showing, but my hands are so smooth now. And I used it on my feet, but y'all ain't about to see my feet. So yeah, this is amazing too. Shot with her, the Lush Bar. She has 13 products. She's found here in Columbus, Ohio. She has two children too, and she's a boss ass bitch just like me. Period. Um... So yeah, y'all, I just wanted to come on here and tell y'all how I shot my shot. I hit my man up. He caught it. I And I made that bitch. And here we go. Now we together. And my next video is going to be a Q&A. So please leave me some questions and answers. I mean, some questions that I'm going to answer. I'm going to answer them. If you got me on Instagram, DM me. If you got me on Snapchat, DM me. If you got me on Facebook, DM me. If you just watching me on YouTube, comment. Give me questions, because I'm not going to do the video until I get more questions, because I want it to be, you know, interesting. Interesting. So I need y'all to give me questions. Right now, I probably got about eight questions. That's not enough. I want at least 20, because I need it to be detailed. I want y'all to know who I am, what I do, how I do, uh, how I do, what I do, and why I do it, how I do it. Yeah. So, um... You might be too late watching this. I don't know how quick I'm going to post this. But I got a four-week class. Enrollment ends on November 8th. Class starts November 9th. You get in the class for uh, $200. It's a four-week class to keep your business on track. Work first week. Uh, every week you'll have three assignments due and a quiz due Sunday at 11.59 p.m. Each week is focused on a different portion of your business. The first week is focused on the purpose. We're going to figure out why you're doing your business, whatever, woo, woo, woo. The second week is going to be your social media and creating your brand. So uh, we're going to make your logo, your motto, your colors, all of that. The third week is going to be your target market. Who are you trying to sell your product to and how you going to do it? How are you going to get their attention? The fourth week is getting you on track of posting your content consistently. We not bullshitting. We ain't posting and then taking breaks and posting. We posting, 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 posting. So that's what the fourth week is for. So then moving forward, it takes 30 days to break it happy, right? Right. So doom, boom, moving forward after you work with me for them 30 days. And it might be 31 depending on the month, right? You're going to be good. So fuck with me. If you can't catch the November class, catch the December class. But it's busting over here in the track. It's where it's at. Where it's at. Alright y'all, I love y'all. If you like this video, if you like any of my videos, make sure you like the video. Make sure you comment on this video. And last but not least, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Okay? Okay, love y'all. Bye-bye. <laughs>